Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, it's all about the beautiful game. I'm going to try to do a comparison video between Electronic Arts FIFA 17 and Konami's Pro Evolution Soccer 2017. The two most prominent football games out on the next-gen consoles at the moment. So, um, I've been playing both series on and off for some years now, but I started out as a very loyal Pro Evolution Soccer fan back in the PlayStation 1 era. It had a different name back then. It was called International Superstar Soccer Pro Winning 11 97. And it was on the PlayStation 1 back in 1997. So that's 20 years ago now. I remember I used to play it pretty much every other day together with my older brother. And I remember it was the best thing since sliced bread. However, when the next-gen consoles made their debut, it quickly lost its footing for me. So that's when my interest turned to the FIFA franchise. Now though, Pro Evolution Soccer seems to be back to its former glory. And that's why I think it's a good idea to do a comparison video. So I'll be focusing on four categories. Graphics, that is how the player, player models match up to their real-life counterparts. Stadiums and kits, etc. General graphics, of course. The second category is presentation. This one will focus on licenses, music, and a general atmosphere. Third is sound, which will deal with commentary and ambient sounds, such as crowds. And finally, the most important one of them all, gameplay. That's how the game plays, how it flows, the difficulty, etc. How much you enjoy the game. So, uh, that's enough for me chatting. So, uh, let's get on with it, shall we? Game on. Manchester United. It's such a, a serious rivalry, a very close rivalry, of course. The city's not more than 30 miles apart. Yeah, well, of course, United down the earth have, have the upper hand, but this is a good Liverpool side that we're going to see today, and they could cause one or two problems. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Marcus Rojo starts with Eric Bailly at the back. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the lone striker today. This is the Liverpool side. Dima Mignolet starts That's in goal. Dayan Lovren plays with Joel Matip as the centre back. Adam Lallana plays with Jordan Henderson in midfield. And just one out and out attacker in the lineup. can't talk about Liverpool to you without mentioning Anfield in 1989 and that glorious night for Arsenal. Well, back then, nobody tended to win at Anfield. I know it's not so easy to appreciate now, but it was a fortress. And I'll be hoping to get back to those kind of times. East the ref all right guys here we go just uh, wanted to stay quiet and let the commentary team do their job at the start here I am playing on professional difficulty I am Manchester United my favorite team against our arch rivals Liverpool what I can say first is that the presentation is absolutely sublime. It looks like the looks like a proper Premier League game. I mean, they've got the colors right. They've got the, the presentation and everything is uh, spot on. So EA done an absolutely fantastic job with this. You can even see the the substitutes warming up on the sidelines. I haven't played this game in a little while, so uh, forgive me if uh, I'm I'm gonna get completely uh, slaughtered here by Liverpool. I really hope not, but. Uh, it might happen, <laughs> you never know. Sound is pretty good. We've got the familiar commentators and we can see the referee lining up here and everything with the with the new uh, 
the new system <laughs> where you keep the keep the wall so and so many meters uh, behind this very nice touch from uh, from EA let's defend this one oh oh Dave saves <laughs> even looks like David De Gea yeah the player likenesses are absolutely spun on as well it looks I mean it looks beautiful this game I mean there's no doubt they've got everything uh, they've done everything correct you can even see a cameraman down there by uh, by Coutinho taking the the corner yeah. thank you goalie but I concentrate on playing a little bit here not just talking to you guys well, my weakest part is defending as you may have noticed and you even got the billboards where it says follow Manchester United on Instagram they've got they've they've left no stone unturned here in the presentation and sound actually so uh, that should give me a high score let's see if I can't create something here oh not too bad would have hoped for a better shot and yeah, sliced off the foot our first attack I have to say the gameplay um, it does feel a little sluggish I have to be honest with that and uh, I don't feel very confident when shooting I don't feel like I'm gonna score when I shoot I feel like I, I'm not in control basically and that's basically uh, that's always been my problem with FIFA games that I don't really feel like I'm in control too much I know I'm in control but it's uh, it's like that for instance it's uh, I, I'd like to play quick and sometimes I feel like the game engine it, it won't let you it just uh, and football isn't always played like that either it's uh, it feels like if you run with the ball and you shoot while you're running the shot will always be a weak shot which is not realistic at all I mean you can you can shoot you can have a good shot while running so uh, anyways let's concentrate on playing a little bit here <laughs> Oh, come on now. That's not too bad. See if we can do some. Oh, that's a booking. Should be. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. Uh, and the referee comes up, and it looks like just like the Premier League. Nathaniel Klein looking very regretful. <laughs> oh, that's that's borderline borderline red. That one, Nathaniel, You've been a naughty boy. I mean, some other features that uh, FIFA 17 EA have got in this year is they've got this new. Uh, I'm not. They they've got this. This Alex Hunter career thing, this story mode where you, where you start start as a young boy, you play you play basically his story, which is is interesting. I haven't tried it, and of course they've got all the teams licensed, and uh, I think Pro Evolution Soccer they've got the Champions League and the Europa League licensed, which is nice, but overall FIFA should completely win. Oh, here we go! Somebody got a yellow card for uh, stepping over the line. That's a very nice touch. Um, yeah, so I think, at least uh, presentation-wise, FIFA are well ahead. That was a very poor free kick from me. They might be looking at the counter-attack here. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that's our free kick. Thank you very much. I mean, for me, FIFA has 90% of everything right. Here we go. Let's try a shot. No, 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 no. You see, this is what I'm talking about. It's, uh, you should be able to shoot, I mean, better. You should be able to have a great shot there while you're running. And that's kind of my, uh, my feeling is that the game kind of won't let you in a way. And it's always been my gripe with FIFA. That you feel in less control than what you are. Impressive attacking play here from Manchester United. Let's see if we can't create something here. Yeah. There we go. 
One nil. Paul Pogba. Well done, son. Get in. That's not too bad. All right, so I pretty much did exactly what I did when uh, coming through with Mkhitaryan. This time, the shot got a little bit of speed and a little bit of height. Still not even close to what uh, it should be, to be perfectly honest. So game physics still have some ways to go. Like I said, 90% there. Presentation is like amazing. Uh, sound is great. You know, they've got pretty much everything apart from the gameplay. It's still it's still lacking a little bit, in my opinion. And it's still a little bit too slow. The game is slow. See if we can't create some more chances here. Need to build up from the back. The game will let you. I mean, the game has patience. <laughs> if you have patience. I'm trying to pass a little bit quicker, but it's it's not very easy. I have to kind of push the boundaries a bit. So I don't think the game engine uh, can keep up sometimes. So. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Oh, there was nobody here. Thank you very much. Uh, let's try a through pass here. Oh my goodness me. You see this is another minus. You see the player stopping up. He should have been running there. And uh, again, with the gameplay and the game engine. Another poor shot. Adam Lallana. All right, need to defend here. Need to do our job. It's Mane. To level it up now. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, we got out of it. Now let's counter. Let's counter attack. Here we go. Here we go. Pass it. Oh. This should be it. Oh. Yeah. All right. That was uh, that was the first half, guys. I'm um, just gonna leave it on. Forgot to tell you guys. I I like this new feature where you can see the managers. This is a uh, another nice feature that they put in there. You can see Jurgen Klopp, and it's not just the the manager. They actually put them in the clothes that they wear. You know, you got. Jose Mourinho in his familiar suit and you've got Jurgen Klopp in his familiar track suit which is a nice little touch so I'm just gonna leave the um, I'm just gonna leave the replay uh, on here because I wanted to show you guys how the game is like fully That was a horrible tackle right there, Klein. <laughs> Should have been sent off. Referee didn't do his job. And this is where uh, we had the shot from Mkhitaryan. And I kind of feel that the game should have let me shoot a little bit harder. Jose is obviously happy. All right, let's start the uh, second half, guys. And here at Old Trafford, the second half is underway. And uh, Herrera challenges for the ball. Now Anthony Martial trying to find an opening. Oh, I need to keep my concentration here. It's uh... oh, here we go. Oh no no no. Very annoying. Problem. 
Bob doesn't seem too happy. Pogba. Well, that's good support as they build this attack. Defender to it first. The little one, two. Oh! Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. You want to score on those. Provide the finishing touch. Oh, I can understand Carrick not scoring from a shot. At least the shot was uh, off the ground this time. Because uh, most of my shots so far, it seems like when you're running with the ball for a long distance and when you try a shot, the shot is always going to be on the ground and pretty slow and easy for the goalkeeper to save. And uh, to be honest, that's not always the case in real life. So they could have made that part a little bit better, a little bit more enjoyable at least. The gameplay needs to be enjoyable. Oh my goodness me. Didn't concentrate there. That should have been a goal actually. Can't believe uh, the little animated Coutinho didn't score. The little digital Coutinho. <laughs> Alright, Liverpool making a substitution. That's not going to help you much. I hope not. We haven't made any substitutions yet, so I'm gonna try that out a little bit later on. You see the the thing here up on your right is a push the team forward. That's another new thing that they made this year. So you can actually push your team forward and your team will push up a little bit so you can have a longer kick. A nice feature for those uh, for those who want to use that option. I need to concentrate on my defending, it's always been the worst part of my game. But I think FIFA, they do a good job with uh, defending, it's not like uh, over complicated. There are two modes I think, there's a, a classic mode and a new, I don't know if it's called uh, legend mode or something where you, I'm actually not sure what it's called, but there are two different ways to, uh, to defend basically. Your players will behave differently. Not just man marking or sonal, but it's a, it's a completely different way to play the game. You can, see why the manager has you can even see the tattoos on uh, Firmino's neck, which is uh, also a good thing from EA. They got everything right with the presentation. The player models look uh, pretty much just like their uh, real life counterparts. Especially with the top teams, I guess. This second half hasn't been very good from us. We're trying. Trying to get you guys some more goals, but it seems like the gameplay... Uh, well, I'm not saying it's going to make it difficult for me, because it is. I am playing on professional, so... I think it would be a lot easier to, to get a lot more goals on a lower skill level. But I wanted to show you guys how it is to play uh, on a higher level how the game works because I'm going to use the professional skill level when I play the Pro, Pro Evolution Soccer as well. Here we go. This could be it, guys. This should be another goal. Let's be patient. No. I would have thought that shot would have been uh, off the ground again. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a thing that they put in there, which is a big minus, to be perfectly honest with you. Well, the building steadily here, working away. Oh no! Why? <laughs> I should have had two goals there. I should have had a lot more goals in this game. Three on target for Liverpool. Well, on another day, they'll be hoping for better things in terms of their teammates creating. But, you know, they've worked the keeper okay here. On to the attack now. There's the ball in. Oh, that's a little bit too easy. Well, you've got to compliment him for trying, but that's well off target. Well, he has missed it. And what an invitation. Let's make a quick substitution, guys. I'm thinking we're going to make a double substitution. 
as you can see just over the name you have the uh, the health bar basically so you can see uh, oh the stamina bar you can see uh, how tired the player is so I'm gonna take out Carrick and put on the German Schweinsteiger and perhaps one of the strikers Martial or maybe Blint you know what I'm gonna go with the uh, striker let's get rid of Ibra get Rashford on yeah let's get rid of Ibra Rashford on all right all right young lad this is your chance to impress Liverpool also making a quick substitution Lucas coming on doesn't really look like Lucas that one though a little bit maybe like some player models are spot on and others not so much and here we've got our substitutions Our young Rashford looks the part anyways So I'm thinking I can give you guys my uh, oh here we go. Let's get a goal. No another Weak shot off the ground. I'm gonna give you guys my final verdict now for FIFA 17 With about 10 minutes left of the game. I'm gonna give the graphics 8.5 out of 10 Presentation 9 out of 10. It's absolutely beautiful sound 8 out of 10 and unfortunately gameplay We'll get seven out of ten. So that's my uh, that's my rundown of FIFA 17. Oh, almost messed it up. Yeah, it's not easy to commentate while I'm playing here, guys. I'm I'm doing my best. I promise. It looks looks like it might be a 1-0 game here, which is fair enough. We we probably should have had more goals, and uh, I think my, the opposition should have at least had had one goal, maybe even two. So I feel like that's that's what's lacking: the excitement, the control. You don't always feel like you are in control of the game, in control of the ball. It it feels a bit sloppy at times. Ball mechanics are not as good as uh, you would want them to be. And they get worse uh, when your player gets tired too. Alright, this should be it. Final few seconds of the game. Just keep the ball. Keep it tidy. Oh! For Manchester United. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, very unlucky. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching my FIFA 17 video. In a few moments, I'm going to switch over to Pro Evolution Soccer 2017. And uh, we're going to play the same game, just in reverse, at Anfield. Liverpool versus Manchester United. I will again take the role of Manchester United and uh, we'll see how that goes. So uh, I'll see you in Pro Evo. See ya. Alright guys, welcome back. This is uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2017. As you guys can see, the colors are a little bit different than uh, FIFA 17. That's the first noticeable thing. It seems a bit brighter. I'm not saying that's a positive thing. That could also be a negative thing, actually. But graphics-wise, I think they're both pretty much the same. Hello. This is official. This is Anfield. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Peglin.
Well, thank you very much, Mr. Drury, and hello to everyone. I have to say, I am a Man United fan. I'm also a Celtic fan, so listening to that song is... It doesn't give me goosebumps, but I have to say, <laughs> the Konami have done an absolutely amazing job with the licensed teams. You have the song, it's wrong over Anfield here. Uh, the, the crowd is singing, and I have to say, that is something I didn't expect. Very special. Sadio Mane looks like Sadio Mane. The presentation looks absolutely brilliant. This Manchester United team that we've got here is actually imported. So this is not official, but it is official. As you can see, I've just used the option file that I found online. And the kits look absolutely great. They look like the real deal. The colors are a little bit brighter than on FIFA. But uh, yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. I'll be in blue. And... Uh, Right away, I can feel it's a little bit different with the running. Here we go. You'll find in Jordan Henderson. He's added to all that running power with slicker passing and some very impressive finishes. All the ball fixes are a bit different. Oh, there we go. Okay, interesting. Yeah, this this feels different. Uh, you have some power to the shot. It feels uh, feels like you're in a little bit more control. Oh, it's a dangerous cross there. Yeah, I have to say that uh, already I can say that there's a, there's a big difference in gameplay. The graphics, however, it is a little bit too bright and a little bit faded maybe. So the graphics-wise, I think FIFA... Oh, a tiny bit late there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Slatan's not happy. I like that. That is actually... Uh, I don't think I touched him. I might have touched him. The player likenesses of Henderson is... It, it just it doesn't look like Henderson, in my opinion. Mkhitaryan is fine, but... Uh, so, it's a bit of a hiss, hit, hit and miss there. But so far, it's looking good. The game mechanics are very different. It feels like everything is happening in real time, basically. It's difficult to explain, but... You just need to play it yourself to feel it. Yeah. And I managed to do what I... Oh! <laughs> that was close. I managed to pull off something I didn't manage in uh, in FIFA, which is pushing the ball back there while I was falling backwards. It's very nice uh, game. Fi uh, I mean, uh, the physics of the game is top-notch. That is the strongest part here. The commentating on uh, FIFA, I would say, is stronger. It is it's better, so uh, I kind of enjoy listening to uh, the FIFA com commentary more than this. Oh! Oh my goodness me! But well, we've got a lot of action going on here. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh, almost. Yeah, this is quicker. It's quicker and more responsive. The game is a lot more responsive. I need to concentrate a bit now. I'm going to keep my mouth shut for the next five minutes. Back. 
Lucas. Lalana. Chad. And it's Coutinho. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea oh, come on, Antonio. You can do it. <laughs> Forcing my way through here. Probably should have passed a little bit earlier. Here we go. Oh, jump over there. Oh, a terrible mistake. And we're through. Oh, yes. There you go, son. Oh, look at this celebration. Going crazy here. <laughs> that was enjoyable. You see the game physics. It's, uh, it's great the way the ball bounces. and Yeah, beautiful. And the way uh, Slatan loses his, uh, his balance after the shot too is very realistic. So you can see here. There he goes. He loses his balance. It's 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 so cool. You know the way they made the game. The game physics are just sublime in this game. So that's one nil, guys. Manchester, your first blood here. They're not allowed to say Manchester United because it's not a licensed team, as you can say. But they can say the, con the they can say the towns. So they can say Manchester, but not Manchester United, which is stupid. They can say Liverpool, of course, because that is a fully licensed team. Oh, 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 did you see that? Like that. Oh, oh no. Well done, Dave. Dave saves. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, there's a lot of action here in the beginning. It's, uh, I have to say, I've had more fun in these, uh, first uh, 35 minutes that I had in uh, 90 minutes playing FIFA. I'm sorry, FIFA lovers, but this is just a little bit more exciting to play. Oh! <laughs> I had a cheeky little shot with Daily Blint. I'm trying to force my way through here. And then back to Blint on the volley, half volley. He's not happy. But if that had gone in, it would have been the goal of the century daily. Taking a short kick, Liverpool. Oh, they're they're oh the nice little back heel from uh, Mane. Very nice touch. Yeah, they are quick. And it's I I love the little flicks they do. The players, it's just really really nice. Ooh. Well done, Dave. He has reflexes that it that are in perfect order, indeed. Let's hope he stays at United for many, many years. Dave saves. All right, continue with another corner. See how he can defend from this. Oh, and we didn't. Dave is not happy. We didn't defend at all. Oh, I fell asleep. Luckily. It fell to this guy. Was it Emre Can? Luckily it fell to him. Alright, we need to establish some sort of take on the game. But it's difficult because it's end-to-end -end stuff here, guys. And I know I'm supposed to talk about the game, but I pretty much have. I pretty much did that during the, uh, the FIFA one too. As you guys can see, the graphics aren't as crisp. As, uh, as FIFA. I think the crowd and the presentation is uh, pretty much almost as good. Seeing as it's on uh, at Anfield and uh, you have the song in the beginning and everything, it, it makes it feel like uh, a real Premier League game. Let's see here. We can't create something. Oh, yeah. First half done. But I think the midfield can really pat themselves player likenesses are uh, better you can see Juan Mata but the player likenesses are better on FIFA I would say so uh, yeah but uh, yeah it's, it's been a ride let's uh, let's go for second half guys let's do this I'm ready to get stuck in again 
action is back on the way. Manchester carry a one goal lead into the second half. Lucas positions himself well. It's difficult to explain it without you guys trying it yourself, but when you play this game, you feel like you are in control. It feels like you are. You, the things you try and do, it actually happens. That's not the case with FIFA. With FIFA, you, you try and pull off some amazing moves, but it never really happens, and it's always a bit short. The, the passes, the, the breakthrough passes and everything, they're, they're always a bit, you know, not right there, not quite there. But with this game, it, it, it really tries to do exactly as you want it. So uh, that, for me, is uh, a big incentive, obviously. Trying a long pass here. Go on, Mickey! Yes! Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. This is nice. I like this. Kissing the grass at Anfield in front of the cop or whatever. Yeah, you do that. You do that, Mickey. <laughs> Piss off a lot of Scousers, that's for sure. Look at this pass. Absolutely. I could never do that on FIFA. And it seems like it's a lot more accessible here. The beautiful through pass. Pick my spot. Go. Done. Well done, Henrik. Right, 2-0. We've uh, scored from a chip through ball. Yeah, that, that was uh, the first time I've done that. Now I feel like we're in control. I feel like I've got a lot more control over this game than I did. Trying to slow it down a little bit here. You can, you can practice a few moves with the R2 and R1 buttons. Trying to be a little bit more clever. You can play slow if you want to. But it's not like FIFA where you always have to play slow. You can slow it down if you like to here and you can speed it up, which is really nice. See if we can't create something clever here. Ooh. Yeah, he made that mistake. Oh. Try and win this ball back. Uh oh. Okay. This could be it. Oh. <laughs> Daniel Sturridge. One, two. Oh, that's nice with the stadium shot there. Makes the presentation a uh, couple extra points for presentation there. And I like the way, uh, if you guys can see this, he actually falls over the goalie once he scores. Look at this. It's, uh, yeah, it looks really cool. It's not the cleanest goal, but those are the goals. I mean, those, those are real goals. Look at this. It actually hits. He almost saves it. Yeah, this is this is cool. This uh, having fun here. I shouldn't be celebrating a Liverpool goal. I'm not, but uh, they they actually did the same here. They take out Emre Can and put on Finaldom, the same as in the FIFA version, which is interesting. Now we need to uh, we need to get another goal. We need a cushion. Look at the ball physics. It's uh, pretty cool here when it hits the player and it changes direction. It's just uh, really cool. Alright guys, come on. You can do this. Oh, pass it. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Hit his face. Sorry about Milner. One, one. You are the one and only. Oh! Really well taken goal. Hello! Yeah! A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. A beautiful corner. So already here in this game, we've played, I don't know, 60 minutes? 70 minutes maybe? We've got uh, four goals, guys. We have four goals in this game. 66 minutes, four goals. And uh, they've all been different, which is absolutely great. Which, uh, yeah. We've had through passes. We've had corners. We've had a mistake in defense, which is, you know, this is uh, very diverse. I like it. Origi coming on. We might make a substitution too, and not too long. 
let's do this. Uh, maybe we should do it right now. And I think you get the uh, the stamina bar up on these players. Let me just see if I can't find it. There we go. Yeah, you can see the stamina bar. You, you've actually got the pictures of the players here as well. So let's switch Pogba and Herrera. Uh, maybe get rid of Mata and put on Wayne Rooney, perhaps. Let's... Where is Rooney? Is it... There he is. All right. Wayne Rooney coming on for uh, Juan Mata, the Juan and only. We have to let Rooney play at Anfield, don't we? We have to. Rooney getting stuck in already. Oh, that's that's really that's exactly what I wanted to do, and that was nice from the Liverpool player. You couldn't see who it was. You have to appreciate the opposition. <laughs> oh my goodness me! Oh, that was clever. Oh, stop him! Oh, Coutinho, he's... They play... The funny thing is that Liverpool, they play like Liverpool and Coutinho. They've got this... Konami put on this uh, special thing. So the, their best players, they have these special skills which make them run and make them do what their real-life counterparts do. Let's see if I can't get across in here, make something happen. Be a bit cautious here. Maybe wait for an overlap. Beautiful. First time cross. Oh! So, uh, I think I'm going to do my final assessment here of this game. I have to say graphics. Here we go. Oh. Well, let's do this attack first, guys. Oh! There you go. <laughs> More and more and more. That was beautiful. Oh, that was very, very well taken. Oh, my goodness me. Look at this. Beautiful. So, my final assessment of Pro Evolution Soccer 2017 is uh, I would give the graphics 8 out of 10, so a little bit less. Presentation, I would give it actually 8 out of 10 as well because they don't have everything licensed, even though you can get everything licensed. Sound is 8 out of 10 as well. And uh, the last but definitely not least part, gameplay is where this game shines. 9 out of 10 for me for gameplay. So uh, I think both games are absolutely brilliant. I'd like to, I've probably been uh, a bit hard on FIFA today because it is everyone's favorite. And uh, I'm happy to see Konami putting out such a fantastic game this year. And I feel like a lot of people don't give this game a chance because it's not FIFA. It's not licensed. But as you can see, it is licensed. You can you can play with uh, the real kits. You can play with the real players and everything. This is... We're at playing at Anfield here. We've got the... You'll never walk alone in the beginning of the, the game. And everything is authentic here, which is pretty much, you know what you want but uh, like I said I don't want to give FIFA too much a hard time because it is an absolutely beautiful game but uh, if I could say it like this FIFA is probably the first 20 minutes of a cup final while Pro Evolution Soccer is the last 20 minutes where you have to score a goal where everything is a little bit more you know things might happen because of mistakes and People are scrambling and, you know, teams are scrambling. Well, the first 20 minutes... Here we go! Let's... Oh! <laughs> I would never have been able to score that goal on FIFA. Never. Never in a million years. So, yeah. Like I said, FIFA will be like the first 20 minutes of a cup final. Our Pro Evolution Soccer will be the last 20 minutes. That's how I feel. FIFA is a more controlled experience. You can, you can have some great games. You can score goals and everything. But it feels a bit like restrained compared to this this is uh this is fun this is yeah this is fun this is what football was in the 90s i feel 
while FIFA is probably what football has become. More tactical. Liverpool uh, play like Liverpool here, and it's it's Liverpool and United have always had these games where there's a lot of tension and everything. So this is uh, this is great. This is absolutely great. And the fact that we're trashing them is, is good. It's good. <laughs> Five one. Manchester, Last two minutes. They are we are. Oh, that's a nice, nice bit of skill there. Very nice bit of skill. And that will be the that's it. Manchester have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. Oh, Mignolet's not happy. He's getting angry. <laughs> on what we've just seen. Manchester Don't be angry, Simon. I'm going to leave you guys with the uh, the replays of all the goals scored in this game. And uh, with my last words, that I hope you try both games. I hope you enjoy both games and I hope you play both games. For me, they both have their strengths and their weaknesses. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue to play both games in the future. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye for now.